Alert Weather with meteorologist Ted Schmidt. On our way to record territory, not far from it already, we have blue sky, mild conditions. As we look outside with some of our Lewis Auto cameras, we started this morning in the 30s, not far from the average high temperature for this time of the year. We've done nothing but climb the temperature ladder since then. 56 is where we stand right now officially at Rochester. The record, 63. We're not far from that. We may get that uh, reach that level in the next hour. 62 in Osage, Mesa City 58, 57 in Decorah, and 59 in Winona. Hint of a southwest breeze drawing in that warm air behind a warm front that moved through a couple of hours ago. Air pressure is steady to point only 31 dry warm air uh, helping the cause as we warm things up. 60s, the records uh, across the board today. Here's what we're expecting. Low 70s, Rochester, Austin, Albert Lee, Mesa City, Decorah. So all likely to achieve record status here in the next hour or two. And uh, all that behind a warm front that has already pushed north through a lot of warm, sun-filled weather uh, in store for the rest of today. Uh, 56 in Rochester, 63 in Des Moines. 60 in Sioux Falls ahead of the front, slightly more seasonable, but that's kind of where we were yesterday in the low 50s, and that in itself is still milder than average, but for this time of the year. Near record warmth today and tomorrow, very close to it tomorrow, certainly today the, the warmest of the week, though. Rain and snow, both possibilities later this week. As we move into the weekend, we're talking about sprinkles, flurries, colder winds, a little more of, uh, of a March-like feel to the weather. Uh, future track today. Not at all March-like, though, but that's sometimes how March is, too. You have elements of spring and winter, and, and certainly both will be felt this week. But today, a very spring-like day, May-like day, really sunny, uh, mild southwest breeze. Temperatures tonight in the 40s, a bit of a brisk southwest breeze, passing clouds, but a very mild night by seasonal standards. Tomorrow, a weak cold front works its way through. Just a few thin clouds, we'll call it partly sunny, but still very warm for this time of the year. Uh, temperatures still... About 25 to 30 degrees above the seasonal average and uh, in the 60s and then heading into Wednesday, still some passing clouds, a, a light breeze, thickening clouds in the afternoon, but low 60s for highs. But moving to Thursday, a storm system for the west does bring the chance of rain as cold air moves in. There's a chance we transition to snow Thursday night. We'll be watching for that. There's a possibility, maybe even some minor accumulation. This is still out there a few days, but there's a chance of that. And then we have snow showers, flurries, sprinkles, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with some cold winds and temperatures that will be much more seasonable. 60s uh, tomorrow and then low 60s Wednesday. We move into the weekend time frame, 30s and low 40s. And then next week, still more seasonable in the longer outlook. Uh, for the Climate Prediction Center, more than 10 days out, possibility of colder than average weather for a few days. And that's downright chilly stuff for this time of the year. But 70 today, that's about 30 to 35 degrees above the seasonal average. A southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Record warmth, again, expected today. 43 tonight, partly cloudy skies, southwest winds. And tomorrow, a light northwest breeze, 66 the high temperature, partly sunny skies. Seven-day forecast uh, looking incredible warm at first, but more seasonably cool heading into the weekend. St. Patrick's Day, not too bad, at least it's dry. You can still get out and about and, and, and frolic and do all sorts of uh, things. We like the pipe band, like to have fun too. 41, a little blustery though, a little chilly. Ted's trivia, which planet in our solar system originally had the name Georgian Cetus, the Georgian planet? Oh, I have no idea. So, um... Let's go with Neptune, see. It's actually Uranus. It oh, was actually it had is. the name Georgia Planet because the king of England was George III, and the astronomer was, was an immigrant from Germany. He was a, he was an astronomer and a, a composer, but he named it a different name, and then they said, no, actually, uh, mythology is the, is the naming uh, protocol. So they changed it to Uranus, Uranus later on. You've got to follow the protocol. That's true. Yeah, when it comes <laughs> to something that big. Thank you, Ted.